Hello, I'm Julie O'Malley and welcome to IHN Independent Horror News. Coming up on this episode, we have a review of Kibakichi and this month's exclusive interview. But first, our top stories. Dario Argento spoke with the press in Belgrade where he said he'll be shooting an episode of Masters of Horror this month. His third mother film will begin shooting in September and he's been offered an HD project to direct for Steven Soderbergh and George Clooney's production house. Argento also stated that he'll be returning to the Baroque style of Suspiria in Inferno, for he's grown tired of the pseudo-realistic look of his recent work. Pit of Horror released an interview with Robert England in which he announced that New Line is moving forward on a Nightmare on Elm Street prequel. John McNaughton from Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, is signed to direct. James Gunn has announced his upcoming Satan project will be entitled Scratch. More news on that when we get it. Fangoria reports that Anchor Bay will finally be releasing Cemetery Man, a.k.a. Della Morte e Della More, to U.S. audiences. Along with a new anamorphic transfer, the disc will also contain a making up featurette with all new interviews. The DVD is set for a June 13th release. Darren over at Brain Damage has been keeping busy picking up the rights to several new genre films, including Bleed, Blood Rites, Hell Hath No Fury, Skeleton Key, Shadow Hunters, Nutcracker, The Crate, Lifeblood, and Unborn Sins. Judging from Brain Damage's previous releases, we can't wait to see these. That wraps up our headlines for April. Stay tuned for our exclusive celebrity interview and this month's movie review. But first, our new and improved DVD forecast. Coming up, we have this month's celebrity interview, but first, our review of Kibakichi. Hello, I'm Mike. I'll be filling in for Erica this month. We'll be talking about a movie called Kibakichi. It's a ninja flick with a lot of samurai, a lot of monsters, really dope mafia sequence in, in a casino gambling. People getting slashed by monsters when they're doing their gambling wrong. It's pretty wicked. The one thing I did love the best, and you've never seen this before, even the movies that I've, I have not seen this before, that a werewolf doing karate kicks, matrix style, jumping from rooftop to rooftop, karate kicking with other people, werewolf style, it's awesome, and if you've never seen that, you have to check it out for that case, in that case only. Oh, and then it's like the first time the Asians finally get weapons of like mass destruction back in the sword fighting days. It's like 17 or something. And I didn't even know they had guns back then, thanks to England. And they put a fucking whoop ass with the, with the old school Gatling guns. It was just awesome. It was just, it was great. One thing I did admire most of all was the characters and how they had different feelings about the world itself, because the humans, knew about the monsters, dealt with them a long time ago, them and their NATO forces, and then they just kind of vanished and went into hidings. And these double agents, and you're kind of hoping they will win, but you're kind of hoping the monsters will win. And then they talk about this third army that they want to go fight, which you never see them, and they only talk about it once, and then it's just them fighting the monsters, which is kind of, it's, it's weird, you just have to see it. For yourself but <clears throat> what I did like most about the characters was the monsters mafia the the Don the big guy he's just he was just so cool and just he's so gangster about it it was it was very fun to watch and it's like he should do the right thing or the wrong thing but he follows more of the right you, you just gotta watch it I don't want to give too much detail away in that 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 scene so out of 1 to 10, I give this movie about an 8. It was good. Total thumbs up. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that movie. And I'm hoping to see part 2 of the same movie uh, if they do do a sequel. Because it was really good. And I hope he gets a little bit more funding so he can do a little bit better on the makeup and, and the special effects. With the explosions and stuff. kind of got a little out of hand. Without no blood and guts, it was kind of weak. But like I said before, when you first 
put on the movie and 10 people get hacked in the first 30 seconds. It's an awesome fucking movie. I'm Mike from IHN Independent Horror News, so check it out. Nice, that sounds like a lot of fun. And now here's this month's exclusive interview. I'm stuck in some reason, that fucking horror movie, like that witch project. It's a bad food in its head. There's no mistake, Mark Richard Burke, a deal was made to have to rule the earth. From his room, he was snatched from his bed, and they had two sixes on his head. Clergyman knew he was not of the kind. When Rosemary saw him, she lost her mind. How could the hospital have made a mistake and allow her baby to be switched with a fake? Wow! Rosemary's baby was framed. They switched the kids and changed the names. Rosemary's baby was framed. They switched the kids and changed the names. It was guaranteed doom when a man in a black hood ran in the room. Nobody knew what he was doing. Rosemary screamed, Doc, I'm suing. He could have been a leader, one of the few. When he got home, he found a camera crew. They made a movie, everyone got rich. Rosemary's baby is the son of a bitch. They switched the kids and changed the names. Rosemary's baby was framed. They switched the kids and changed the names. Well, that wraps up this month's IHN Independent Horror News. Until next time, have a bloody good time with the movies.